Oh, oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. There you go. I like it, though. I like it. Enthusiasm. Okay, since we met last, um, uh, we had three new coaches that we hired. Okay, so uh, Brian Bing is our assistant D-line coach. Uh, Ryan Griffin will work as an offensive assistant working with the quarterbacks and receivers. And Matt Pease uh, will be our defensive analyst. Um, so that's an update from last time we met uh, there in Chicago. Uh, it's great to see everybody. Um, looking forward to the combine um, and getting onto the process of evaluating these guys. Um, it's always uh, really our first uh, touch, uh, you know, working with these players and getting to know them personally. Um, that's a big part of it. And uh, it's a small part of it, though, you know, because then you work on to your pro days, uh, you work on to your 30 visits. And, and then from there, you really work on to get to know the guys as we go from there. But uh, we're excited about it. And again, uh, Ryan already talked about it this morning. You know, we have no big news for you today. Um, we're going through the process right now of uh, really just uh, figuring out the, uh, the opportunities that we have, do have and potentially have, and then learning these players as we go through this process. Um, so with that, I'll open up the questions. No, I think you do it the same every year. You know, you want to have a, a thorough evaluation on all the players uh, because you go back to those and you, and you look at those evaluations. You know, as those guys grow uh, in the league and go through free agency, you look at those all those evaluations. So you do it the same. It's it's really about this time of year, right? So you're you're in the process of formulating a whole new uh, roster. You know you got your spots that you got to fill, and uh, you're always looking at that every single year. And to me, it's about you know formulating that as we go through this free agency, and then filling the holes with the with the draft. And then really, it's about you know the coaches now developing that talent, and then putting everything in place, and then building our football team once we get into the offseason program. So that's what I'm most excited about. Yeah, it'll be the same process. You know, we'll take them into the room. In this particular case, we'll we'll do. The, I'll ask them if they want to do darts or putting. You know, I like putting. I'm pretty good at both. But uh, but uh, yeah, then we'll, they'll decide that, and then we'll just uh, teach them something about the offense, of offensive play, and then we'll show them their tape and have them you know talk about their tape and ch kind of checking their FBI out there, and then recall at the end to give us back what they learned in the beginning. And uh, it's the same process for all the players. Yeah, so right now they're in the process of doing that. They really are. They're, they've been working, you know, every day uh, when they're in the office. And, uh, you know, it's, it's important that Shane, you know, and uh, and uh, Simo and the rest of the staff get together and start to marry these things together and formulate our offensive identity. And uh, they're in the process of doing that right now. Yeah, the wiring of a quarterback obviously is uh, number one is leadership. You know, you have to be a great leader. You got to be resilient. Uh, you got to be able to handle criticism. You know, and then obviously the physical traits. You know, that's that's a big part of it. Um, you know, you know the accuracy, the timing, the the platform, all the things you talk about with that. And then being a winner. You know, that's what that's what it comes down to. Um, all these teams that uh, that do things at the end of the season, they they have winners at the quarterback spot. Yeah, I think that's evaluated every single year, right? So it's at the end of the year, you'll evaluate that. And uh, if that's the best move for the Bears, we'll certainly do that. And uh, that's and what we're doing right now is what we think is best for the Bears. Yeah, I, th I think you just point to the first two years. You know, we, you know, that first draft class, all the guys that played there, the free agencies we signed there, and then last year, you know, I mean, a huge free agency class uh, with the draft class there, with all those guys played. So that's a foundation uh, that we have built at the Bears. So, um, you know, Justin, if Justin's the quarterback or a new quarterback's in there, there's a, there's a lot of things that are around him. And what's cool about it is we get to add some more pieces in free agency coming up uh, here in the in the in the short term too.
No, it doesn't. No, it's the same evaluation uh, that we had, you know, that I talked about at the end of the season um, at length, and I think it's the same. Yeah, we're in the process of building that team right now. So, uh, again, we we'll have a lot, to, a lot of work to do between now and uh, April 15, and then April 15 all the way to June 15. So uh, there's a lot of work there to be done. Um, I see it as a natural progression to our, to our uh, building of this franchise, and uh, we're certainly excited about that. Yeah, I want to just commend the players, uh, you know, on the whole football team for sticking together the way they did uh, at the end of the season and us come, having a lot of success at the end. Um, and the defense is the same. You know, I want to really uh, uh, thank those guys for that because they really hung together and started to really gel and started to get really, you know, so to answer your question, um, you can always have more rushers. You can always have more corners, right? You know, I love that. Um, but uh, we're, we're close to being a, a pretty solid group. Uh, no, no, I don't think so. I mean, I, obviously, when you have more pass rush, the timing and the rhythm of their passing game certainly changes, but I, I don't think so, Jason. Yeah, you know, obviously, we all of our reports go into a system. You know, we rank the, rank those, and uh, those are all there for everybody to see. So that, those are always going to be there, and we always go back a year later and say, "Hey, were we right on these? Were we, you know, we have to adjust or think, adjust our thinking on each and each uh, prospect." Uh, but uh, you know, I've been looking at quarterbacks all my life, you know, and I know what, uh, what what a good quarterback looks like and what what's hard on the defense, you know, and a guy that has the ability to you know create, um, a guy that has the ability to throw uh, with timing and accuracy. And the guy that can move the ball on the field when, it, when it's critical moments, like on third down, two minute, all those critical moments. So um, I've always looked at that, and uh, that's been a fun process for me. Say that again. Yeah, that's just about relationships, right? You know, so we're going to have a, a, a plan in place, you know, for, you know, uh, when if Justin's coming back in there, we'll have a plan in place for that. If we have a new quarterback, we'll have a plan in place for that. So um, that's why you have a guy like Shane that's adjustable, adaptable, creative to be able to handle that, okay, and also be able to handle potential injury that might happen during the course of the year and uh, be able to adjust our offense accordingly. Yeah, that's a very small piece of it, Pat. Um, I would say that uh, you really can't glean that from that, but you can by talking to the coaches, by watching the tape, um, you know, by going out to the pro days, you know, spending the 30 visit with him when he comes on campus, you get to spend the whole day there. So I think when you chunk all those, those touches together, I think you can do it then, but not with just the one. Yeah, I would just say this, that, you know, uh, we're in the process of doing that right now. Um, you know, so, I, you know, we're not there yet. You know, so we're just in, in the process of evaluating all the, all the guys we have. You know, so if it's quarterback, receiver, tight end, offensive line, all the positions. So we're, we're at, that, at that point right now. Yeah, uh, he'll bring leadership. You know, he's, he's great in front of the room. We'll be great leadership to him. Uh, he, he has a system that he puts in uh, that, that's uh, rooted in the run game, in play action game. So um, they're going to be excited to have him. Yeah, that's a great question. And I really think it's, it's important so they're all cohesive. You know, I really uh, sat down and met with all three of those guys individually and at the same time. Um, and uh, our offense is going to be a direct reflection of those three relationships. Um, how we coordinate the run, the pass, you know, and the overall coordination um, of those in situations um, during the course of the game. So I think that's why we did it. 
and, uh, I, and I know that's why we did it. And uh, it's, it's going to be exciting to watch going forward. Uh, just, I just want more, uh, more continuity and more communication there. Yeah, I had a real long conversation with Pete, you know, when uh, that whole thing went down and we were in the interview process and he just gleaned about Shane and talked about him um, at length about his ability to adapt and adjust and what he did with the quarterbacks that were there in Seattle. So I was very comfortable um, moving forward with Shane in that. And it's really about his track record, right? You know, so when you have a current head coach or his, his head coach that was with him, say those words about him and talk to me at length about it, and then me watch the tape, and then what he actually did with all those quarterbacks, uh, to me that's proof. Yeah, like you would uh, any offensive coordinator, right? You're going to lean on the process of that because, um, you know, obviously quarterbacks, the, the leader of the offense, along with, uh, you know, with the offensive coordinator. So, yeah, heavy for sure. Yeah, I look at situations. You know, I look at the guys that can operate third down, two minute, um, in, in the end of the game situations. That, that to me is what's se that's a separator. Um, for me, um, and then you look at toughness. You know, you got to look in toughness for a quarterback. Really, is is about the mental toughness to be able to stand in the pocket and deliver the ball, um, and then also have the discernment to be able to move out of the pocket and create when it's necessary. So, um, and there's they come on all different shapes and sizes, um, but uh, yeah, it's always been fun to evaluate those guys. Yeah, always as a head coach, you're always going to be involved in those, and that's part of the process. Yeah, uh, just the man, uh, first of all. The person that he is, um, you look at that first. Um, he's got a great personality, great way about him. He's got great character, and uh, just his track record. You know, he's been a part of some great defenses. Um, he's obviously been here with the Bears, um, and obviously what he did over in, in Buffalo with Sean was, was uh, pretty impressive too. So I'm excited about partnering up with him for sure. Yeah. Yeah, a lot, you know, so um, I'm so proud of Jalen, the way he improved um, and the way he really took the challenge to, to be a ball guy. And, and he certainly did that. Um, he's a great leader in our, not only in our defensive back room, but in our whole defensive room too. Um, and he's really starting to be a, a, a really good leader on our whole football team. So I'm excited about him. Again, like Ryan said this morning, you know, we obviously want to get him to a long-term deal. I hope they're close. I hope it works out. Uh, but uh, certainly excited. We'll be excited to have him back. Yeah, you're looking for a guy that pairs well with him. You know, Jaquan is a guy that's a strong safety. He comes down, man's tight ends. Uh, he's a big hammer. Um, the guy that we'll be looking for has got to have athletic ability. He's got to have range. He's got to have great communication skills. Um, and he's got to have ball skills. You know, we want all of our guys to have the ability to take the ball away. Um, and he has to have that too. And then then eventually grow into a leader. You know, if it's a, if it's a free agent, he's going to have to feel the temperature of the room and then and, and dive into the leadership role. And if it's a rookie, he's going to have to develop that with the other guys. Yeah, we have we have several other priorities uh, for sure. So ordering them is really not uh, we're not there yet. But uh, you know, certainly pass rusher is one of them. You know, we got to make sure that we have somebody opposite. You know, sweat and make sure we can never have enough of those guys because they affect the game most. Just uh, right now, depth. We don't have a lot of depth there. First of all, you know that's the, that's the first part. And then uh, you know, adding some dynamic pieces there. You know, you know through free agency potentially and through the draft potentially. So, um, to me, I know when you're trying to defend that, when you have a, a really a, a, you know weapon at tight end, and you got a weapon on at the X receiver at DJ. When you add a, a piece or two to the other side, um, it really balances you up, and it's hard to defend for sure.
Yeah, I love Roshan. He's done a great job, and we'll see where he develops, right? He had a rookie year. I've always said that, the, you know, from first year to second year, that's where you make your biggest jump, and I love where he is right now in his development. Okay, all right. Yeah, her name is Kelly Eberflus. <laughs>